Hey everybody, this is Jerichos, and welcome back to Puppeteer. Last time, we finished the story, defeated the Moon Bear King, and restored peace to the moon. And you can see, we've got a nifty little star on our save file. But we're not done. There's a few more things still to do. So let's hop back in and take care of some loose ends. Now, first and foremost, the credits have been added to Act 7. Lots of hardworking folks helped make Puppeteer, and now you can pretend to care about them anytime you like. Yep, you can jump straight to the credits now, where we cut through that long ribbon. Kind of a nice touch. Let's take a look here. I'm not going to go back through it again, but... Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the perilous journey of a boy named Kutaro. Now meet the many manufacturers of the Magical Theater's Mayhem. Let's give them a big round of applause. It's kind of a nice touch there. Different, you know, way of doing it where you can just jump right in, treat it kind of like another curtain. And we've got a bunch of heads. Let's take a look at what we unlocked at the end of last episode, shall we? Well, over the last two episodes, I guess. The grub head. Aww. It's kind of cute, actually, when you see it up close. <laughs> I love those little claws. Uh, why did it jump back to the tree? Okay. The black castle. And much like the white castle, it's got a little Moon Bear King figure. And of course, the Moon Bear King himself. <laughs> Now this one, we missed. Yep, you can't get this head right away. But, Kutaro, the very special head, his original one. This one is very neat because if you have a Kutaro head, you can use it at any head action spot and it will count as the head you're supposed to have. So, it can basically be used as a one size fits all. Now this one, to get this final head, we actually have to go back through the final stage again and how we got the Moonbear King. Examine him again when we get small to get this last head. Let's go do that now. You know what? While on the way back to the Moonbear King, I figured why not show this off? Let's cut along this and see what happens. Yeah, if you don't use the Black Castle action... The Black Castle was just a sneeze away from a massive explosion. Were Kutaro and Picarina it's going to make it? Yep, you basically it's have to right cut along here. Go, go, go! And move as quick as you can to avoid getting burned. I see the exit! You can do it! We're almost there. Just keep on cutting. Between Castle Waxway and now we'll cut ahead to the Moon Bear King fight with the new head. Ah! No! It's not over! He's back to normal size! Finish him! And as you remember, this is where we got the Moon Bear King head. Now that we go through a second time, examine him for the little bear head. That is the final head for our collection. And as you can see, we get the trophy head hoarder for finding every single one. So let's exit out real quick and go take a look at this last head. We have found all 100 heads in the game. We haven't used all the head actions yet though, so that's going to take a little bit more time, but we'll get that in this episode. Let's see. There it is. Aw, cute little bear. Oh, he's got a little moon bear figure as a, you know, doll or toy. Really adorable. But now, we want to take care of these last actions. So, we're going to take care of those by going to the bonus stages. You may have noticed before when we went through them, some of them had head actions, most notably 
for the generals primarily. Let's go in and do a couple of them. We won't actually play through them all the way through, but we're going to use those general head actions. And they'll change up the bonus stage a good bit. For Act 1, Curtain 2, we can use the Snake Head. If it'll load. Here we go. Okay. And if you go in from the menu, it will actually give you that head right away. You also have a Kutaro head if you want to use it. But let's use the snake head. Vines cling to anything they can get their festering feelers on until they cover And now we've got a slightly different path. In fact, it's a lot easier. You don't have to cut and choose different paths. You just cut along and you're good. <laughs> Using these heads is one of the easiest way to clear clays. Ugh, can't speak. One of the easiest ways to clear the bonus stages. Now let's jump to Act One, Curtain Three. And as you can tell from this one, That's the head action we have this time is it must have taken the tiger head. Or moon cheese to produce such a cool thing here. Set of bones. It just gives you tiger's arms that you can cut straight up. Especially if you have the boost cut at this point, it's really easy to complete this stage. We won't go through the rest of it because you've already seen it, but, you know, just keep going along. Onward to Act 2, Curtain 1. And in Act 2, Curtain 1, you can see the Dragon Head. Use that to change the Koi into a dragon. It literally covers the whole bottom of the stage. Makes it really hard to fall off. In fact, makes it impossible. So, simple as that. Now, let's move on to Act 3, Curtain 1. And oh, how appropriate that on this bonus stage we would use Naval the Captain Gaff Head. On the open seas, not your belly Started out use this, you Gaff appears, and boarding. some more Pulling cannons are going, so it completely fills the sky with the smoke. Makes it really easy to collect every moon sparkle. That's pretty much all it does, so onward to the next one, which is Act 4, Curtain 2. As Captain... This just in. Shots were fired on Route 66 today, shortly after high noon. Charged with the disturbance the was Katoro, a, a puppet, whom moon yeah. police apprehended Cat on the Bert scene for possession of a loaded firearm. A moonlight APD for the suspect was already out in connection with the theft of calibers so, from Castle Grizzlestein and a recent Oops, string of Moonstone heists. It's pretty nice. Don't worry. Now the leading man sure. may get thrown into jail, but he always breaks out. Like a trap. Let's see. Breaking news. We've just received yeah, reports back, that accused scissor thief and yeah. moonstone smuggler Kataro has escaped from prison. Police are urging yeah, all law abiding grubs to stay vigilant and avoid confronting the suspect, anyway, who is considered um, armed and four, snippy. Three. And from the bonus stage where we fight bull, the king of the beasts, let's use the, the bull lion, head. has been prized throughout history as one and of its greatest yeah. marvels. It brings from ancient the bull Roman out. coliseums so, right up is, to the um, circus tents of today. A little preoccupied. Crowds have flocked so as a to result, see ordinary men pitted against this majestic animal, and they usually root for the lion. Still have a time limit over. No, it's but your it turn, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, perfect. as the magical theater anyway, proudly presents the, the Suckers Gregorius's breathtaking hair Ah, uh, here we are in the candy house of 5 1. Once You'll be upon doing a time, a they lived find a poor a little bit. puppet first, named Kutaro. Use the pig head. From dawn till dusk, to a horrible oh, witch God, worked Kutaro here. to the bone. Yeah, While his wicked stepfriend, Picarina, laughed and called him names. You don't have to worry about falling then one the day, Kutaro used his fairy oh, head magic going. to it turn an ordinary pumpkin really into an really aggressive easy. coach okay, very that carried him right to Prince Moonbear well, we'll King's doorstep at the Black now, Castle. But the magic five, expired three. prematurely, and as Kutaro... Oh, this stage. This was a bonus stage that was tough. 
Ah, but now, she's the bungee dog head. jumping. This and is the core idea like behind it. many an amusement park attraction. Yeah, After all, give a who doesn't love a good gravity-induced thrill? So the human body was practically edge, made slightly, to be tied to an elastic like cord it's and not hurled as, you know, toward a springy climax. Bungee one, jumping relieves stress, douses depression, and keeps boring old reality like at bay. And it's so, easy. Young that. and old can all Onward, get in on that two, bungee action. One more. All you need is one. Act six. A doorknob and a rubber band. Get to it, kid. Uh, and here we are with the honey. Luckily, the honey bees came to Kutaro's rescue, the and he escaped head. the danger. It's a bear. Now, it's honey. Luna you, honey. See the connection. Anyway, three B shows up, and once again, makes it super easy. In fact, this actually completely changes the bonus stage because now we're jumping all the way up here to get these. It's kind of a neat thing that it does that. And these are really bouncy. Let's go ahead and show just a little bit more of this because, oh, yeah, fall between them. You don't die, but it doesn't bounce. So yeah, you just keep doing this over and over and over again. Anyway, on to the last one that we need to use a head on. Seven, one. Oh yeah, this stage. Easy. We actually have the sheep head here. Now what we do, progress is normal, because you can't use it right away, unlike some places. We'll have to get through the first section. I uh, missed one there. Come on. Stupid ice physics. Keep bouncing. Well, this will help a lot with that wind oni or whatever he was in the second part. So, here we go. But one thing is clear. These creatures are very real, and certainly not bald face lines. Come on. Here we go. Okay. He summons him up, and now we use the sheep head. Eh, puts him to sleep. And... She starts counting sheep. And of course, we get our trophy for, now that's using your head, her, her, for using every head action. And I love that it just it puts her to sleep. And because she's asleep, she can't summon that guy to come attack us. So, that uses every single head action. You'll notice that we never had to use the Kutaro head or the little bear head because those can be used anywhere. I'll explain what the little bear head does in a little bit, but as we said, the Kutaro head can substitute for any head action. So, they already have their head actions complete. Now, there is one more thing with bonus stages we need to do. It's time to go back through the last bonus stage. Because somehow, although I thought I got everything, I missed two grubs in there. So we're gonna go back through and make sure to kill every single last one. Let's jump ahead to the successful attempt because I think this is gonna take a couple tries. Okay. This did take several tries, most notably because the final two grubs are hidden. And no matter how many times I play this game, it always takes me a long time to remember exactly where they are. They're not just along the normal pathway, you have to basically trick them into appearing. Got this big grub here we see in the back who's gonna dangle some grubs? Well, ignore the first two he drops, and he'll come back and give you two more. That's right. You have to kill those two, and that's where the final two souls are. Now we can go through and finish the stage as normal, and we should get our final trophy for the souls. Oh, poor Mega Grub. Alright, that should finish it up. And give us the trophy. Come on. Maybe we have to exit out of here. There it is. Soul Searcherist. Yeah. Soul Searcher, Soul Searcherer, and Soul Searcherist. Weird names. But that's for finding every single soul. That's killing every grub in every stage and this bonus stage. 
Now, we got a few more trophies to wrap up though, so let's go ahead and play back through some stages to find those trophies. You know what? While going back through this stage, I actually have the little bear head. So let's use it and show off what it does. It will turn your companion gold and they can now go and collect moon sparkles for you. Yep, they can go and reach stuff that's out of the way. Seems like kind of a relatively silly thing, but it can be helpful for another trophy that we'll get later on. Anyway, moving on. Okay, so, there is a hundred sparkle here, which I showed how to get, but then didn't actually grab. So, there we go. Hey, managed to get it without taking a hit. And we get the trophy Sparktacular for finding every hundred sparkle. Yeah, whenever you grab a hundred sparkle, you have to clear the area you're in for it to give credit. Even though I showed that one off on screen, I never cleared the area. So, that now has every one of those. And we got another trophy we're going to go find. But this one's going back several acts. Let's go back to Act 4. So we have arrived back where the Weaver is at the end of 4-1. And now, we're just going to keep defending. He will shoot a bunch. And... You can block every single one of them. Just give your shield some time to recharge. This is a great way to get that last champion trophy we haven't gotten yet. We've gotten one for the ninja, blowing up three enemies at once. We've gotten one for the pirate, for killing a bunch of grubs with the hook claw. We've gotten a bunch from the, um, or excuse me, the one for the wrestler for using the body slam to kill a bunch of grubs but we haven't gotten the knights yet for using the defend a hundred times or 300 times so you can just kind of wait here he'll keep shooting at you and eventually you'll unlock the trophy no clue how long this is going to take so i'll jump ahead to whenever the trophy unlocks And there is the trophy, Super Chivalry Deflection Master. Eh, it didn't take as long as I thought it was going to. Anyway, on for a few more trophies we're trying to get. And I have returned to Act 1, Curtain 3, for a very specific reason. Now, what we're about to do, you can do anywhere, but this is a great place to do it if you're just on your own. It's time for the co-op trophies. Yes, this game actually supports co-op if you remember from the first episode. The second player will control Ying Yang or Picarina. All you need to do, have a second controller connected and start moving it, and you have control of them. Yes, this is being controlled independently of the first controller. And for the second player joining in, you should get a trophy. Come on. Where's my trophy? Well, it'll pop eventually. But here, you'll see we spawn two grubs. Ah, there it is, double trouble. You've got two grubs here, and you can actually pull their heads off. Oops. And pop the balloons to kill the grubs. In doing so, it will actually generate a head for Kutaro. Uh, let's move that one. You know what, actually, let's give it to him. I forget, did we? Yeah, we already saw the transformation here, because it was the boxing glove. Eh, it's funny seeing the boxing glove pick up the heads. So, what you need to do is kill several grubs with player two, specifically. Also, you can be a jerk. Grab onto Kutaro's head, pull it, and throw the head away. Uh, I threw it too hard. It would come right back to him. Okay, just let it fall. And... Kutaro doesn't get his head back, it goes away, just like normal. You need to do both of these several times. This is a great place because you can just keep spawning grubs and, uh, nope, come here grub. We can just keep giving Kutaro the heads so we don't have to worry about him dying. And then after you've taken care of the two grubs, throw the head away. Again, I threw it way too hard, I'll bet. No, there we go. 
So, I'm just going to speed this up as we go through. And, eventually... Come on. Okay, fine. He's... There we go. Okay. Eventually, we'll have two more trophies pop. So, let's speed it up. Okay, well there's the first of the trophies. Who needs enemies? You get that for throwing away Kudro's head with player two ten times. Now we just focus on killing the grubs. We need to kill 50 of them, so this might take a little while. You know what? I'm just going to jump ahead to when it happens rather than speeding it up so you don't have to sit through that. Let's jump ahead now. There we go, that's the trophy. I'll second string you for, well, basically taking center stage with player two. Now, remember how we had the little bear head? That allowed us to pick up moon sparkles with player two. It also allowed us to control Ying Yang as if we were player two completely. We could have taken off Katara's head, we could have killed grubs with him, or Picarina. So, it's kind of interesting that it allows you to do the second player thing as first player. Also, if you let player 2 sit for a bit without any input, he'll eventually go back to player 1 control. Simple enough. Now we've got one more co-op trophy we have to get. We have to collect 3,000 moon sparkles with Ying Yang or Picarina, basically as player 2. And there's a great bonus stage to do it. So, let's jump into the bonus stages. That's right, we're coming back to this stage. I said we'd be playing through it a few times. What you'll do is use the pig head, and when this happens, it'll just let you fall down, and now player two will control Picarina and collect all the moon sparkles. Simple as that. And Kutro will collect a couple, but this way, if you're playing with just one player, you don't have to move the controller at all. And we can jump up here, collect those. And now that we're up on the top part, we've got more moon sparkles to collect. So just over and over playing through this stage. That's all it takes. So let's, rather than show you the whole thing over and over again, I'll just cut ahead to getting the trophy. There's the trophy. Whew. Okay, that took quite a while. Ah, glad you didn't have to sit through that. Anyway, let's finish this bonus stage up just to get a completion. There we go. And we've got one more trophy to get. You probably know what it is since I've been avoiding it since we finished Act 7. It's story time. That's right. It is time for the final picture book. Who could it be about in our seventh and final one? Eh, I got a good guess. Yep, we've had Ying Yang, Picarina, Gaff, the Moon Witch, who is apparently the moon goddess, Nebula, and Mr. Pink. Now it's time for Little Bear. The little bear that could. 
the little bear that could. Once upon a time, a small and lovable bear lived on the moon. The moon goddess called him Little Bear and loved him very much. Little Bear and his twelve animal friends lived in a shining white castle and they were all very happy. The goddess said to him, Little Bear, you can play anywhere you want with anything you like, but promise me you will never ever touch these moonstones. I promise, was Little Bear's cheerful reply. But one day when the goddess was away, Ying Yang the cat came up to Little Bear. Meow, goodness, the goddess certainly thinks you are very special. Uh-huh, said Little Bear. I just love her to pieces and she loves me right back. Ahem, sputtered Ying Yang as he cleared a hairball from his throat. Does she now? Then why won't she permit you to touch the moon stones? Love shouldn't have any rules. With the moon stones, you could be just as wise as her. You could live forever, just the same as she does. One of the two moon stones was white and beautiful and brimmed with eternal life. The other was black and alluring, and concealed endless knowledge in its depths. The second moonstone was just too much for Little Bear to resist. Eureka! The light of truth dawned within him. The goddess has deceived us. The goddess has enslaved us. This is no paradise. It's a cage, and no better. Why? She's no goddess at all. She's just a witch. Little Bear told all of his friends what he had learned. You're just a slab of bacon, a ham sandwich in her grand lunchbox. You've been cock a doodle duped but are you too chicken to fight back? You, you make it rain, but haven't you ever wanted to make it pour? She told you those were happy fangs, and you believed her. Open your eyes, friends. This is revolution. Little Bear stole Calibrus, the goddess's sacred scissors, and fought valiantly against the castle soldiers. When his twelve friends saw Little Bear's gallant struggle, their hearts swelled with courage, and they too joined the battle. The moon goddess returned when she heard about the Bruhaha. Her face was filled with compassion and forgiveness. Little bear, you made me a promise. Now be a good bear and give the moonstone and Calibris back. Never, cried little bear as he slashed wildly with his new weapon. He tried not to look at her. One more second gazing at his dear, sweet goddess, and he might give in, or worse, ask for a hug. We're free from you forever, he declared. The other twelve animals ran off after their new leader. Let's make our own kingdom, they said. And with Calibrus, their bright new future, and they're happily ever after. We're just a few snips away. The end. Yeesh. So apparently it's all Yin Yang's fault that this mess started. We get the trophy read between the lines for the picture books. And best actor, the platinum, for getting every single trophy in the game. It's been a long haul, but it has been so much fun. And this will now properly draw a close on this game. I really hope you've enjoyed this game. I hope it has brought attention to people who did not know about it. And, you know, check it out yourselves. Play it. It's a lot of fun. There's nothing else to do here, so this LP is coming to a close. But I've got something interesting in the works for my next one. You'll just have to wait and see what's coming next. If you've enjoyed this video and this series, give this video a like, 
click subscribe, and hey, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what you thought of the game. I will see you guys next time. Thank you.